Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Movie Studio 17 Platinum, and I've got my spinny drone footage my friend gave me, and we're going to make some spinny text. So here we go. Here's the spinny drone footage. And first, let's delete this picture-in-picture -picture track uh, because it's just going to get in our way right now. So second, uh, we're going to grab a... Uh, go to our Media Generator tab, go to Titles and Text, and we're going to select Sample Text. And we're going to extend that to the same length of our clip here. And I'm going to type in something like cool places to go. And we're just going to make this easier to see by making it have a black outline. And I'm also going to make it a little smaller. But let's try didn't have everything highlighted there and then we can put it where we want it okay so that's the text now we got text in front of a drone footage that looks good now we need it to wrap around and go around a circle so this is actually easier than you think if you go to your video effects tab and drop down till you see tiny planet and here you can just grab the default drop it on here boom now it actually curls your text around and you can change Imagine, here's how the settings work. Imagine there's a little imaginary planet inside of here. It changes how it wraps around the planet, like how much it wraps around it. Does it wrap around the planet or does it like lay on top of it or wrap around it underneath? Does it swirl? And how big is this planet? <laughs> So you see, longitude is not exactly an underneath or over top kind of setting. It, it, it works a little differently as at 180s. But there you go. That's your three settings you can change. So you can probably see where this is going. We're going to change the longitude and get it to spin. And we're going to make it spin as many times as we want it to. So first off, uh, let's hit this keyframe button for longitude. If you have this sync media cursor, sync media cursor selected, you can make the window a little bigger here. So you can see what you're doing if it's small like mine was. Uh, but now we can actually uh, keyframe this and make it move. So if you want it to move clockwise, so this goes counterclockwise this way, we're going to actually want the slider to move this way over the keyframes to go clockwise. So I want it to go clockwise, so I'm actually going to start my first keyframe all the way to the right at 360. Then I'm going to move to the end of the footage here. Uh, and then I'm going to drop it all the way back. And then you can see by this line here, this linear lerp, linear interpolation, we just got a nice, simple, cool spin. But you think, oh no, what if I want it faster? Well, uh, go back to your effects hit by hitting this effect button. You can scoot your keyframes closer together and then you'll have a much faster spin. And that's cool and all, uh, but what if you want it to spin over and over again? Well, let's cut it down to, you can see, cut it down to that keyframe there. You can actually arrow in both places and see exactly where you're cutting. We're going to cut it down to that keyframe. So now what we can do is actually just hit Control while this is highlighted, and then you can create a copy and then create copy hit OK so you want it to be a new copy of it not a reference or if you actually you could probably make it a reference uh, too. if you create a reference that'll make changes in both places so if you change the the text here then it would change it in both places. So you might want to actually just create a reference um, now that I think about it. But either way, either way you decide to do it, you can now have it spin indefinitely by just having it loop like that. And as a reminder, you can copy, if you see my quick tip, tip video, you already know this, a copy, then hit Control and B, not Control V, because that would copy paste like so. Control V would do that, but copy Control B, like a boy, will actually let you choose how many you want to do. Like we could do 10 or 15 even, or 150. And then boom, 
now we just got it scrolling as long as we want it to scroll. So there you go. That's how you make text circle and orbit in Movie Studio 17 Platinum. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. My cat Patches, I think, said hi at one point. So that's her. I'll see you next time.